Imagine an object tearing through the cosmos at over 135,000 miles per hour. That's fast enough to circle the Earth in just seven minutes. But speed isn't the strangest thing about it. This mysterious traveler, known as 3i Atlas, isn't behaving like any comet we've ever seen. Instead of being pushed away from the sun, it's spitting out a plume of gas and dust that points directly toward it, like a rocket engine firing in reverse. Astronomers first spotted it in July 2025 using a NASA-funded survey telescope in Chile. At first, it was catalogued as just another interstellar visitor, the third ever detected after Oumuamua and Borisov. But when larger observatories turned their gaze upon it, the Hubble, Gemini South and later even the James Webb, the results shook the scientific community. What should have been a routine comet passing through our solar system quickly became something far stranger. Its movements didn't follow the rules of gravity, its chemistry looked completely alien. And the closer we looked, the more impossible the whole thing became. Some scientists whisper about propulsion systems, others speculate it could be a probe, a machine, not a rock. Though a few even suggest something darker, like debris from an ancient war adrift in the galaxy. Whatever the truth, this isn't just another comet. It may be the most unsettling object humanity has ever observed. On July 1st, 2025, a faint smudge of light appeared on the screens of astronomers working with the Atlas Survey in Chile. At first glance, it didn't look like much, just another blip in the endless background of stars, but its motion was anything but ordinary. Within hours, computer models flagged it as an interstellar intruder racing through the solar system at more than 135,000 miles per hour. That's not just quick, it's record-shattering. This was no slow-moving asteroid bound by the sun's gravity. It was a visitor from the deep void, the third interstellar object humanity had ever detected, Almost immediately, the data began to confuse the experts. Its trajectory was too sharp, too straight. The orbit it carved through space didn't bend the way comets normally do. It looked almost deliberate, as though something was steering it. When powerful eyes like the Hubble, Space Telescope and Gemini South locked on, the mystery deepened. Comets are famous for their tails. Streams of dust and gas blasted away from the nucleus by the solar wind. These tails always extend away from the sun, like cosmic weather vanes, but Atlas was different. Instead of being blown backward, a bright jet of material pointed directly toward the sun. It wasn't a fleeting anomaly or a glitch in the images. The plume remained steady, burning like a torch in the wrong direction. It was as if this object wasn't fighting against solar radiation, it was using it. To put this in perspective, imagine planting a flag in a hurricane and watching the fabric whip straight into the storm rather than away from it. That's the kind of contradiction astronomers were staring at, and for the first time whispers began to spread. This comet might not be a comet at all. The deeper astronomers dug into 3i Atlas, the stranger it became. The tail wasn't just a curiosity, it was behaving like a thruster. High precision tracking revealed that Atlas wasn't moving on a purely gravitational path. Something was giving it an extra push, what scientists call non-gravitational acceleration. Normally, comets show tiny wobbles from jets of gas venting as ice vaporizes. These nudges are chaotic, unpredictable, like steam leaking from a cracked pipe. But Atlas wasn't wobbling. It was gliding forward with a consistent, sustained force, a steady shove perfectly aligned with that impossible sunward plume. This wasn't a flicker of gas, this was controlled propulsion. The numbers told the story. The acceleration measured around four by 10 meters per second squared, to the average person, that sounds microscopic. But in space, even the gentlest nudge builds over time. Over the course of weeks, it displaced Atlas by thousands of miles from where gravity alone said it should be. Here's the kicker. For a natural comet to generate that much thrust, it would need to shed 10 times more mass than telescopes could detect. The math just didn't add up. Computer models ran scenario after scenario. The only one that came close to matching reality required a focused jet firing directly toward the sun, expelling dense grains of dust rather than light gas. In other words, Atlas was functioning like a crude but effective ion engine, the kind of technology humanity uses on advanced spacecraft. This revelation sent shockwaves through the astronomical community. Comets weren't supposed to act like machines. They weren't supposed to generate directed thrust, yet here was one moving through our solar system as if it knew exactly what it was doing. The impossible had just become undeniable. Atlas wasn't simply defying the rules, it was rewriting them. 
If the tail was the first red flag, the trajectory was the second. When astronomers mapped Atlas's path, the numbers looked suspiciously perfect. Its orbit wasn't just a random swing through the solar system. Instead, it was tilted by only five degrees compared to Earth's orbital plane. That level of alignment is so unlikely that the odds of it happening by chance are less than one in 500. And the strangeness didn't stop there. The route Atlas was on would take it past Mars, Venus and Jupiter in a chain of flybys. Each encounter offered an opportunity for gravitational assists, as though the object were deliberately touring the planets. The chances of such a sequence lining up naturally, roughly 1 in 20,000. To seasoned astronomers, this pattern didn't look accidental. It looked engineered, like a spacecraft carefully threading its way through the solar system, using planets as markers or pit stops. Even more unsettling was the timing. Atlas would make its closest approach to the Sun on October 30th, 2025. At that moment, it would slip directly behind the Sun from Earth's perspective in what's known as a solar conjunction. For weeks, the glare of the Sun would blind every telescope on Earth. That blackout period is exactly when an object would make its biggest move, hidden from prying eyes. For a probe trying to break into orbit or disappear into the inner solar system, it's the perfect cover. Coincidence? Maybe. But to many watching closely, the timing felt less like chance and more like strategy. Just when scientists thought they had seen it all, the James Webb Space Telescope delivered another shock. By splitting the light from Atlas into its spectrum, astronomers could identify the elements and molecules in its glowing coma. What they found was unlike anything seen in our solar system. Most comets carry a fairly even mix of water vapor and carbon dioxide, the frozen ingredients of cosmic snowballs. But Atlas, its readings showed an overwhelming 8 to 1 ratio in favor of carbon dioxide. That imbalance made it look less like a comet and more like a machine deliberately venting exotic fuel. Then came the true jaw dropper, nickel vapor without iron. In nearly every natural object, Nickel and iron are partners, born together in the hearts of dying stars, fused into planets and asteroids alike, they're cosmic twins. Finding nickel without iron is like finding peanut butter without jelly, or footprints in the middle of an untouched desert. It shouldn't happen, and yet, in Atlas, the signal was undeniable. This bizarre fingerprint immediately raised eyebrows. Was it the byproduct of an unknown natural process? or the exhaust of something engineered, a system fine-tuned to eject very specific materials, perhaps to control thrust or manage heat. One astronomer described it bluntly. It's like opening up a car hood and finding a working engine where you expected to see a block of ice. This wasn't just a strange rock. It was behaving like a designed system, one that didn't fit into any natural category we know. Back in 2017, astronomers spotted the first known interstellar object, Oumuamua, Unlike Atlas, it had no glowing tail, no dust, nothing. Yet it moved as if pushed by some invisible force. Harvard astronomer Avi Loeb famously suggested it might be an alien light sail, a thin craft propelled by sunlight. Mainstream scientists pushed back with natural theories, but none fit the data cleanly. Oumuamua vanished into the dark, leaving only questions. Now Atlas arrives, and where Oumuamua was silent, Atlas is loud. Two interstellar objects in less than a decade, both breaking the rules of physics, too rare to be chance, too strange to ignore. With each new finding, Atlas looks less like a comet and more like a test. Some imagine it as a Bracewell probe, an ancient machine designed to drift through star systems, watching for civilizations like ours. Its carefully timed flybys of Mars, Venus and Jupiter could be part of that mission. Others think it might be a terraforming device, its unusual carbon dioxide and nickel emissions not exhaust, but a controlled release of material, seeding the solar system with ingredients for some unknown purpose. Then there's the symbolic view, maybe Atlas itself is the message. Day comet that breaks the rules of physics is a cosmic beacon. If we notice it, we pass the test, but a darker thought lingers. Some whisper about the dark forest hypothesis, the idea that the universe is silent because danger waits in the dark. In that scenario, Atlas isn't a probe or a seed. It could be wreckage, the burned out remnant of something destroyed long ago. Whatever the case, none of these theories feel more outlandish than the alternative. That Atlas is natural and comets can simply defy the universe's most basic laws. 
it all builds to October 30th, 2025, Atlas will swing closest to the Sun, bombarded by heat and radiation. If its propulsion is real, that's when we'll see it. But during this moment, it will vanish in a solar conjunction hidden by the Sun's glare. For weeks, telescopes will be blind. If Atlas were ever going to make a maneuver, adjust its course, slow down or change direction, this is the time. When it re-emerges, its path will reveal whether gravity still holds it or if something else is guiding the way. So what are we watching? A comet rewriting the rulebook? A machine older than our species? Or debris from a story too dark to imagine? Astronomers will measure every inch of its trajectory, and if it doesn't add up, the conversation about life in the universe will change forever. What do you think Atlas really is? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell, because when Atlas reappears, the answers may change the way we see the cosmos forever.